I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. The mouse pointer in Word changes depending on what you're doing. The variety is strange, but the pointer design lends itself to whatever activity you're undertaking. Then come the click and type mouse pointers. These guys appear as you move the mouse over a blank part of the page, and they can be mysterious. The click and type feature was introduced in Word 2002, and it refuses to go away. Does anyone use it? Well, probably not, but the weird cursors are curious as you hover the mouse over the word writing area. Here in this blank document, I'll try to show where the click and type cursors appear. The left cursor shows up when you hover the mouse pointer toward the left margin on a blank part of the page. So click the mouse to start typing, get it, click and type, at this location. Double click, type. Yeah, yeah, it should be called double click and type, but I'm not in charge of these things. The indent cursor lets you start an indented paragraph at some point down the page. Click, type, and check out the automatic indent applied up here on the ruler. The center click and type feature applies the center paragraph format. Somewhere down on the page, double click, and type something that's centered. And finally, the right click and type sets the right paragraph format when you click down on the page, double click, type. These tools do two things, which you can see when I reveal the codes. A bunch of blank paragraphs are inserted, which isn't a good formatting practice, but still, this is how it works. The second thing is, of course, to apply the proper paragraph style, left, center, and right, as well as indent. Enough already. How do I get rid of the thing? Glad to oblige. File tab, options. In the Word Options dialog box, choose Advanced from the left side. Remove the check mark by Enable Click and Type. OK. Yes. It's a weird feature, one I don't think anyone uses, but it lingers in Word. Fortunately, like many annoying things, you can disable it. Speaking of which, my Word for Dummies book has an entire chapter on disabling annoying things in Word. Check it out at any fine bookstore. <laughs>